Hey guys, this is Johnny King, and I just want to make a short video to show you a new tool I've been using with my private label products. Um, it's called Keyword Inspector, and it is super amazing at being able to uh, figure out what keywords you want to rank for for your product and what keywords you want to use in your Amazon sponsored ads. And so uh, I'll just give you a quick run through. So, say for an example that I was going to private label some silicone spatulas. And so we'll go with silicone spatula. Um, so what I want to do is type that into Amazon and I'm going to come over here and, and what you're going to do is you're going to use the keywords that are getting sales for the highest ranking products. So you're going to use your competition's uh, data to get sales. And so what I'm going to do is click on the number one result. It's ranked number 42 in, in Home and Kitchen. And so I mean, I'm sure they're selling just a belligerent amount of these. And so I'm going to scroll down and I'm gonna get this ASIN here I'm gonna copy that alright and then we're gonna go over to keyword inspector and what I'm gonna do is go to the keyword suggestion tool and what this lets you do is it lets you put in an ASIN here just paste that and then do a search and you can do a simple search or an extensive search um, and I've only been using this for a few days and so um, I found that the extensive search is a little bit better because it's gonna show you uh, what keywords that are generating the most sales um, that are the, like the, the most search for keywords and it's going to show you where that ASIN ranks for those keywords so what you do is just go ahead and hit extensive and hit start and that's going to start the search now I've already done a search for this ASIN right here um, down here um, it took about three or four minutes for it to process so whenever you, you hit the start, the start button it'll say is processed and it'll say false and then you can refresh the page and then once it says true you can click on this little eyeball and it'll bring up your data so we're gonna click on that eyeball right there and this is the data that it brought back for the uh, the Wilton silicone spatulas that we, we searched for and so um, they're saying that the number one best keyword is pampered chef because it's probably super uh, a high on the you know keywords that people are searching for but if you're looking for a silicone spatula you might not just type in pampered chef but they might type in pampered chef silicone spatula um, and so you can see right now at the time of the search um, they're ranked number six in the Amazon uh, search results for the, the key term uh, pampered chef but if you scroll down a little bit um, for like the word spatula or rubber spatula or silicone spatulas or spatula sets or spatulas they're ranked number one on all of these key terms and then I'll show you what like you know the word rank over here is um, and there's a tutorial up here that'll give you a lot more information than I can give you right now but what you can do what I've been using this for is you can go up to the top of this page and click over and hit all and you can export that into an Excel spreadsheet and then what that'll do is that will let you copy and paste all of these keywords into your Amazon sponsored ad campaign and so if you go over to my campaign manager over here um, for some of my campaigns uh, I just started up this campaign and this shows last month um, and I wasn't running it last month so uh, it's not going to show you that data but I was running an ad beforehand for my chalk that I, I think it had 25 keywords and if you go into this campaign, it has 372 keywords. Now, right now, I've only been running it for like a week, so my uh, my average cost of sale is really high. But that's okay because I'm just starting to um, figure out which keywords are going to work best for me. And if you go into there, you'll notice that a lot of keywords aren't getting any impressions, and that's because Amazon doesn't necessarily think that your product is relevant for that keyword and so if you're trying to rank for a keyword like I you know say if I wanted to rank for the keyword powdered chalk I could go and I could maybe put a couple lines in my description that had the words powdered chalk in that and that would you know let it be relevant for that keyword which is really important when you're creating a new product um, and a new description because then you can go through this list of keywords that the keyword inspector has spit out for you that tells you what the important words are and you can make sure to use those words when you're creating your product so that Amazon will think that you are the most relevant 
for those keywords. But anyway, um, that's I mean that's really it as far as the keyword research thing goes, which is super cool. Um, another thing they can do is you can track ASINs, and so I'm tracking my chalk right here, and it'll show you what your sales rank tracking is um, over like, and so this is just over the course of a few days. And this graph is kind of backwards because it shows you May 1st and then May 2nd and May 3rd and May 4th. Um, so in the beginning, my rank was up around 30,000, and then since then, it's gone down to about 18,000, and that's because I've been manipulating the price a little bit. Um, but that way, you can track, you know, if you want to run uh, your, you know, campaign uh, for your Amazon product ads, you can see um, what you know result that's having on your sales rank. Or if you decide to give away a bunch of products to get your reviews, you can see what kind of spike in your sales rank you get from that. Um, and you can also track the keywords and so you can put in whatever particular keywords you want and and it'll show you graphically like the change by date of what your rank you know what your product is ranking for that keyword and so if you're really trying to target a certain keyword you can see you know what progress you're making or if you um, if you do run a campaign to try to get some more traction on that keyword you can see what kind of uh, effect that campaign is having um, and, you know, and it'll track all that data daily, and so it'll save you a lot of work. Anyway, um, that is, you know, what I've been using it for, and I, mean, I, I still haven't got all the way into it, but I just thought I would make a short video to kind of show you guys uh, how cool it is. Um, and, you know, if you wanted to use it, I mean, that's up to you. I'm not an affiliate for this product, so, uh, you know, it, you just go straight to uh, keywordinspector.com, and that will uh, that will set you up. All right, I uh, hope that helps. See you guys later.